Okay, guys, this is Thursday the 16th. Uh, first exercise is going to be green goblins. So on green goblins, you're going to be doing a long jump. High jump. Bert. And then you will repeat the same thing. Long jump, high jump. And on the high jump, make sure you drop back down in that squat position. No high jumps like this. No long jumps. Like this, where you're just the joints are just slamming into each other. Try to avoid that. Um, on the burpees, try to do legit burpees. No, no break dancing. No, uh, none of none of this. None of this. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. I still got it. I still got it. Okay, all right. So that's separate, separate thing. Alright, next exercise is going to be curls, feet going to be hip width apart, slightly curl back, arms should be in front of midline, as I come up, I want to make sure that those shoulders don't roll forward or back, and my elbows don't move forward or back on that one, okay? That slight tilt is going to add a little bit more resistance, utilizing gravity a little bit more in the dumbbells. So we got a single chest press on this one, again, almost always using this bench, so if people don't have benches, you can utilize the bed, so we're envisioning them we're working on the bed, or if you've got, you've got a physio, physio ball would work, work great. If y'all haven't got one, man, especially because if you're not working out in your home, I mean, excuse me, in your bedroom, then you're definitely going to need something to be able to lean your back on. So that was the chest press, just make sure on the chest press, that you're coming across where the arm is. 45 for midline, blah, blah, blah. I know you'll hit this all the time, okay? But uh, that's important because if you're flaring up like that, you're gonna be working more shoulder. We get enough shoulder, right? We wanna make sure we're getting as much chest as we can. Okay, so on a, uh, the next one's gonna be a squat hold. Now on that squat hold, if you have something to uh, keep you honest, put over your legs, that's preferred. So that's your squat hold. I wanna be able to have my head slightly below my knees and hold this position. Okay. Whatever, whatever you need to set over is ideal, right? Okay, so uh, teeter, med ball teeters. If you don't have med ball, grab a bell, I come up, show that I can balance on my butt, drop back down. And then I curl my body, I'm trying to contract on my own, and I just let the movement do it for me, and then I extend back again. So, there are always ways to manipulate this stuff to where you're making it much, much harder. Rolling up slower and then trying to come up versus exploding forward, letting the weight leave your chest, using your arms, kicking your legs up, utilizing your legs first, having them come up, and then use those to seesaw you back up. It's stuff like that that, like, if you start thinking about it, you'll see yourself doing it. So, okay, uh, jump rope for long for Metcon, but you've also got climbers. Remember, these are climbers. Okay, so uh, hope you'll enjoy that break dancing uh, short that I added there. You're welcome. And that's amazing. I didn't have my parachute pants on. I apologize for that. Or my bandanas. You know, but uh, anyway. Okay, thanks.